Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at a simple design situation that I received from a client. They have a, a structural floor slab, and they wanted to be able to cut a reveal in the slab and have it be able to control them independently, um, and then also figure out the lengths of that information as well for calculation purposes. So as you can see here, I have a floor slab. I can select any one of those lines, if you will, and drag them and make individual uh, grooves in the slab, if you will. And each one you can select, and it has, obviously, the ability to change the values if you want to, and by clicking and dragging and pulling. If we select it and go to Instance Property, we can see the expansion joint length here. How does this, how did this work? If I select it, I can actually click and edit the family. This family is uh, basically nothing more than a voided extrusion. So if I go to the front elevation, I can see what it looks like. Go to the left elevation, I can see what that extrusion looks like. If I go to the back elevation, it looks like so. I head back to the 3D view, and um, I can select it, and I can see it's called a void expansion joint for floor. Um, I can edit this particular family. And it's actually a family that has been nested inside that particular family. And this family is a voided extrusion that's cutting inside um, a slab. And so this is going to be floor-based. It's a voided extrusion. You can edit that extrusion if you want to and make it any you know, profile shape that you want to. So let's say, for example, uh, I need it to be going to here and to here, and we will get rid of what we don't need, like so, finish it, and that's the finish of the shape of it, save it, we'll load it into the project, which is actually the family first, because um, um, it's nested, we'll overwrite the existing, We'll save that, and we'll load it into the project, and overwrite the existing. And now you can see that that slab uh, has now been altered, where the family has been adjusted, and it's a different profile. Um, so that's how you take and create uh, joints in the slab for graphical purposes for measuring purposes as well here. And then if you create a schedule, it lists all the information and it gives you the total that you want. And that's it. That's how you work with creating a, uh, a special family that cuts the slab and creates a joint, if you will, using a nested family. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 